Okay, today we're going to be making a root gold curve machine. Yes. So first we got to go to the beach to make our design. Now that we're at the beach, we could get some inspiration mm -hmm. and we're going to start drawing out our designs on paper. So I was thinking, right, because for Mother's Day, we got some helium balloons. So I think we should start it off by throwing a dart at it and it pops and something happens. I don't know. It starts the whole thing. So my idea was to uh, get a lighter. Obviously, we're going to do more than just these ideas, but my idea was to get a lighter and they like got pulled on and it lit up some gasoline. And above that gasoline is a string. So once the string burns, it drops a ball or something. So we got some stuff. Basically, I found these two poles that I plan on making life timbers with. I know, it's pretty weird, but maybe we could do something with this. I don't know, I just grabbed a whole bunch of stuff. We have a hammer. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. And we have a lighter. We have a wallet. No, I'm just kidding. So, yeah. All right, so basically, we're trying to figure out a way how we're gonna hit the dart with the balloon and then it's gonna trigger the skateboard to start moving and this is gonna start going by. We'll have something in it, I don't know. See, that's tied to there. So we have this rope here that we're gonna tie to right there on the wheelbarrow. Yeah. We're gonna have to figure out a way to release it. Right now we have this, it's kind of like a water ski. Yeah. And that gave me a really good idea. Or terrible, depending on how you look at it. Sure. We could, tie this to the back of one of our bikes and then ride with like sit on the skateboard and like water scan a bike i have i have no clue what matthew's doing right now but so it's like right here and this will actually cut it because like you wait here and you wait here the blade comes swinging down right in here that would work well that's a good idea so we attach the blade at the end of this uh-huh and i don't know somehow we hang it up here so it goes right through and then it cuts it like that. We could get some height on here and just, it will drop. So we have all the tape. And now we're gonna try and figure out a way to stack that shovel higher up. up down and it and cuts it like that. I think it'll work. Okay, so we're gonna move everything down so we could start it at the hoop. So we throw a basketball into the hoop and it hits the shovel down and it'll cut the rope. I have a hose like that. I have lots of hose. Oh. Is. Okay, so we moved everything under the hoop. And now we're filling the wheelbarrow to add some weight to it. And now we have to figure out a way to get this, somehow attach this, so it falls like that. So what's, what I'm gonna do, take a nice smooth shot. A little farther, not right here. Farther, a lot farther, okay? And that, what's gonna happen, it's gonna, the ball, it's gonna hit, the, the shovel. The shovel's gonna go straight down, right into the string, it's gonna cut the string, and then it's gonna, the wheelbarrow's gonna go, and it's gonna go right into these water bottle pins right there. And we, we're, we're not sure what we're gonna do, that. We're gonna, what, what we're gonna do yet. So, we found our way. We got like a weak stick, and we put it through the loop of the netting, like two of the loops of the netting, and we also put it through the, the handle of the shovel. So then when we shoot it, it's, the stick is just weak enough 
it's just strong enough to hold it, the, the shovel. So when we shoot it, or when I shoot it, it's gonna break the stick automatically. And then it's gonna go straight to here, cut it, the whole thing we explained before. All right, so the next thing we did is we stacked some dominoes right after the bowling finished. And we're stacking them. So these wood planks can, I'm not sure how far they're gonna go yet, but this will lead to the next stage of this machine thing, whatever you wanna call it. So right here, I engineered a small little pulley system to bring a ping pong ball. All right, so now when the domino knocks that over, it will pull the string up like I will demonstrate. So that could lift up the ping pong ball to give it more potential energy. Matthew is making an opening with his ogre nail clippers. This will go on the bottom of the pulley. Okay, so we made the pulley. Now we're gonna make a ramp for the ping pong ball to go down. All right, so we made some improvements. We made the string much, 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 much. You can barely even see it, but there's basically just one little thread in it. So the shovel's gonna drop all the way down, break the string, and then the wheelbarrow is gonna go. It's gonna hit the pins or the water bottles and the dominoes are gonna go. And basically we figured out a system where what's gonna happen is once that, that last one with the orange tape falls down, it's gonna pick up the ball and it's gonna fall. That rhymed. Once it goes, it's gonna go all the way down. It's gonna hit, we have to make it so it hits the cup over. Oh, it's, really, it's, it's turning out really good and the cup's gonna have some vinegar in it, and then it's gonna go into the baking soda. And in the thing of baking soda, there's gonna be the string inside of it, so it's gonna be just enough weight of baking soda, like just the right amount of baking soda. So when the chemical reaction happens, it releases the balloon up. All right, so we figured out how we're gonna do it. I just came up with an idea to put tape so that more baking soda can be put on top to hold uh, the weight. Yeah, so. It's gonna, the vinegar is just gonna disintegrate. Right now we're testing the last stage. So the ping pong ball was too light and it wasn't knocking over the vinegar. So now we try to golf ball. And it's we're easy. testing with water right now, go. Yeah. That's good. We did it. We did it. We did so it. So guys, we did it. All right, so our other attempt failed, but now we reset everything and we're cutting this rope thin so it breaks it. What we really hope is that the wheelbarrow will go down into all the dominoes, which those always work. And we need it to spill all the sauce onto there. <laughs> okay. Our newly engineered um, masterpiece. Oh, angled, kind of crappy. Well, it's still a lot better than it was. This is our next attempt. Putting the stick in. Putting the stick in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yes. 
Jess. Damn it. Whew. Finally. I think we're about to do it right now. There we go. Oh God, have mercy. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. You know what? The cup, the cup. Oh, we don't have to touch it. We don't have to touch it. We don't have to touch oh. it. Come okay, on. wait a second. Just, no, it? just wait a second. It's going to do it itself. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and we got it. Oh, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> yes. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and make sure you share because that's, again, the most share. important thing. If you don't share, what do we do? What do we do? I'm gonna tell Kim Jong-un. You know, it's, it's your mom's cookie jar. No, we gotta change it every time. I'm gonna, Kim tell, I'm gonna tell Kim Jong-un your home address and then he's gonna launch a nuke to your mother's house. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's perfect. <laughs>